out Louisiana are still looking to lending a helping hand for those affected by the flooding, including to pets. Now, WDSU anchor Charles Divins joins us now to tell us more about how you can help those animals in need. Well, joining us now is Preston Mesh from Louisiana SBCA and Roy Williams from the Greater New Orleans Foundation. And uh, we're talking now about, you know, the flood recovery efforts and people reaching out to help. Absolutely. Uh, we were graciously overwhelmed with the amount of generosity that people from all over the, the country actually, uh, you know, exhibited. We saw folks from, you know, as far away as Utah and Vermont. But uh, we got a lot of calls about people wondering, you know, who should we donate to and, and how could we decide on where to donate. And uh, Roy here from the Greater New Orleans Foundation um, has worked with us and uh, has given us some tips on who to best uh, donate to and how to evaluate who is the best person to uh, give your money to. Yeah, and Roy, talk about that a little bit. Like, what do people need to look out for? Sure. First of all, you want to make sure that an organization is a 501c3. That means Uncle Sam has done everything and said, this group is doing what they need to do. They're reporting. They're, uh, you know, actually doing the services that they say that they're going to do. You also want to take a look at, uh, you know, the staff. Make sure that this is a staff that's been doing this for a long time. A lot of times that we see GoFundMes mm -hmm. starting to pop up, you don't necessarily know if these are the best people doing the work. Now, granted, everybody wants to you know, do their best and you know, lend a hand, but sometimes, you know, the amateurs kind of get in the way and slow down the process a little bit. And if someone happens to, you know, wonder where their dollars are going to or run into a problem where they've been scammed, what's the best way to remedy that? Really, unfortunately, there's no way to do that. So you want to do it on the front end by checking to make sure that they are a 501c3 in good standing and they're doing that kind of work and looking at their 990s on the back end just to make sure that they're actually giving the money where you say they are. And, of course, the SBCA of Louisiana is a, a, a wonderful uh, foundation. Absolutely. A lot of help. Absolutely. Over 90% of the money donated to the Louisiana SPCA goes directly back into programs and services uh, for the uh, animals of the greater Gulf South. So uh, we are a wonderful organization, and we only partner with the best of the best. So and you brought a, a friend. We with you brought today Nina today, who uh, was very, very excited to be here. Oh, there she goes. Uh, <laughs> so Nina's about a year and a half old. She's a little terrier mix. She's available at our shelter now. Um, so she's just a rambunctious little bundle of joy. And rambunctious. What's the perfect home for Nina? Uh, Nina would probably do best in a home with uh, probably older children. Um, she uh, likes her space, and she likes her food, so don't get close when she's eating, <laughs> All right. just like me. So. All, right. <laughs> All right, Preston and Roy, thank you very, very much for joining us. For more information, head to our website, WDSU.com, or you can head over to the LASPCA.org uh, as well.